Your wound is probably not your fault. But your healing is your responsibility. It is your responsibility, though. Renee and Joe! King E. 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 I like chicken. I like beef. I like spaghetti with a whole lot of meat. King E. <laughs> yes, sir. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Moment, aka King EE. -E. And today, you know what it is. You see the vibe, baby. Today, y'all, we got, um, uh, listen, listen to me. Listen, I'm just gonna tell you, be honest with y'all. Listen here. If y'all not from Memphis, y'all probably ain't never heard of Southern Hands. This is a Southern Hands. Pre Dokashon today. As a matter of fact, cue it. Man, I know what y'all thinking. What is this? What is this right here, King? That's meatloaf. That's meatloaf right there. Now, don't let the look fool you. Don't let the look fool you, because it will. Man. So I got meatloaf, cornbread, candy yams, candied yams, and some macaroni and cheese. Listen, I don't, I don't know what y'all thought this was. Southern Hands, sponsor your boy. You know what I'm saying? That, hey, I'm, I'm out here with it. Southern Hands, I'm out here with it. Now, hold on, let me get up in this. Well, look at that thing. Oh, my God. No, I didn't. Mm. Tastes good. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Ain't none of that done the hand going to waste. Mm. 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 Now, the end of y'all know about mm, Southern Hands. Y'all know they have the best cornbread in the city. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. That's the best cornbread in the city. I'm just being honest. Now, don't breath in, but that man's being honest. Best cornbread in the city. Um, but I'm not. That's just my opinion, yo. Mm, 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 mm. Nah. Mm. Lay right there. This video is not sponsored by Southern Angus. But when you got food coming out like this, I'm going to have to pull up on you. Well, in this case, they pulled up on me. Huh? Mmm. Mmm, God. No, I said, I got a taste. <laughs> Meatloaf. Hmm? I'm saying myself, my stuff there, huh? I'll take for some meatloaf. I know what I'm 
Burger. King. Why you just gonna get Queen to make it? Queen ain't here. Hmm? He ain't here. And we was, I was hungry. Why is he? So, I had to come up with a master plan. Who got some of the best soul food in the city? Hands down, southern hands. Now, for those of y'all who don't know what southern hands is, hold on. Oh, I got some of they lay lay too. Not they lay lay, not the lay 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 lay, but the lemonade. Fine. Make you smack somebody for asking for it. I'm be honest with you. Get found just for the Lele. Um, I got two of them. One one gonna be enough. Hey, you two of them, y'all. Oh, hold on. I don't care, y'all. Mmm, 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 mmm. So much for your money. Mm. Oh. Let me find it for y'all. Mm, mm, mm. In case y'all just want to pull up. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, southern hands or southern hands? Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, I got y'all. Hold on, I'm going to get y'all right on together. Hold on, I got y'all. I'm going to get y'all right on together, man. Bam, here we go. The address that I went to, that I ordered from, it's 6025 Winchester. Put the, put, I'm going to put it right here. Bam. It's right there. That's the address. Bam. If I can find a picture of how the building look, bam, I'll put that right there too. Bam. But that's what they coming like. Mm-hmm. That's it right there. That is it, y'all. Five. I'm talking about five. Man. Hold on. I'm up here doing some editing. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't got sidetracked, y'all. My bad. My job is never done. But yeah. That's the address. Now, if I am mistaken, I don't think I'm mistaken. I think they got a part two. I think they got a southern hands too. I think that's the name of it. Southern hands too, I think, for real. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all know how I used to go. Y'all know when y'all go over Big Mama House or Grandma House or Grand Grand House or Shirley made them house or something like that. Y'all know somebody doing some good cooking over there. You be ready to go over their house. That's how this food is. 
It's like going to your grandma's house or somebody's great grandma's house or grandma's house. That's how this is. Mmm. So the hands. I can taste the love in this food. Hmm? Every bite! Man, listen. Y'all want some good soul food. Everybody can't cook good soul food now. Everybody can't do it. If you find you a spot and do it right, <clears throat> you hold on to them. <clears throat> oh my God. Hold on, y'all. Y'all, but yeah. Southern hands. We came through with this one, baby. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Now, y'all, somebody. Ask me, um, how it's so easy for me to stay on track with being consistent and putting out content. I let them know off the muscle. Ain't nothing easy about it. But at the same time, anything really worth having not going to be easy anyway. Chasing your dream not going to be easy. Being successful not going to be easy. Getting in shape not gonna be easy. Anything that's really worth having is not gonna be easy. It may look easy. Cause you know, like I said, I am the mukbang guru, so you know. I make it look easy. You know, I make it look a little easy. It ain't easy though. But I'm just so passionate and so focused on what I want out of life. So I'm not gonna let nothing stop me or slow me down. Cause I want it that bad. So whatever it is you're trying to do in life, if you're looking for something quick, fast, then right now, if you do get it, it probably ain't gonna last long. You know? I remember when I was out here, out here, Look, fast money hits the hand is gone. So, it's not gonna be easy. A lot of people make stuff look easy. But to be honest, it's a struggle every day, for real, for real.
saying. This is something I just can't get. Oh. Maybe somebody can explain this to me. How is it that I can be eating these, these candy yams, right? And go right into drinking this lemonade. And the lemonade still tastes sweet and good. I come back to the candy yams, and they still taste sweet and good. The consistency is perfect. Man, Southern Hands. Uh, oh, oh, excuse me. Mmm, 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 mmm. Now, you know what? I done figured it out. Mm hmm. I done figured it out, y'all. So the hands got them a cook in the kitchen like me. That what happened? They the one that got them a clean EE shelf, cause all y'all know I'm the best cook, so. That what they done. Cause some of this stuff tastes like I cooked it. I'm young with you. I'm young. I'm young. Mm. For real, for real. But for real, y'all. You gotta think about it. See, my thing, well, I'm gonna be honest. My thing was being consistent. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this being consistent to me was hard. Being consistent to me was hard until I started doing YouTube. Like, everything I tried before YouTube, I couldn't really get G with it like that. Like, I tried doing security, driving forklifts, 18 wheeler school buses. I mean, look, I didn't try it at all. But, Told y'all about two lemonades. Y'all thought I was playing. Y'all thought I was playing out here. That southern hand lemon lemonade. Man tastes like butter. But y'all. I just dropped that one piece of macaroni. Y'all just made me so mad. This just made me so mad, y'all. Y'all don't even know how mad I just got from dropping that one piece of macaroni. Lord have mercy. I really want to end the video right now. I'm that mad. But I'm going to say this. It's like, none of us have a problem with being consistent. consistent being consistent is not the problem. What a problem come in it is what it is you're trying to be consistent about. Right? I'm gonna give you an example. If it's something that you love doing, you won't have no problem with being consistent about it. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you what I mean. 
Some of y'all like to, you know, take a look. A swig of your canteen in there and then, right? But I guarantee you, you love it enough, you do it on a regular basis, don't you? Some of y'all like to, uh, what, 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 how you say, it? um, reap the benefits of the roots that grow up out the ground, you know, you know, get your little, 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 little thing, little thing, little thing, you know, y'all know what I mean. If you like it enough, you do it consistent, don't you? We even got some people out here who like to, how can I say this? Because I know the young people be listening too. How can I say this? Uh, um, uh, we like to um, fool around. I'm going to say old folks term. Some of us like to fool around. A little, a little take more than others. But you do it on a consistent basis, don't you? Why? Some things we just enjoy doing. So you don't even look at it like something that you have to do. It's just something that you know you're going to do. That's how I look at it with YouTube. That's how you got to look at it with your career. When it's something you enjoy, you don't even think of it about, you don't even think about being consistent in it. Because you know it's something that you want to do anyway. So if you don't feel like that about it, like, it just comes natural. Like, I don't know. To me, YouTube comes very natural to me. Doing this is very natural to me. Like, I have people all the time coming in, they be like, man, how you do that? You just sit there in front of the camera and just talk and eat it. Man, I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. How you run the burning building and put out fires? I couldn't do that. How you sit there with some clippers and cut somebody's hair and don't plug their head up? I couldn't do that. How you over here building houses? I, don't, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do it because it's not an interest of mine. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't interest me to do it. So I wouldn't even, I wouldn't care. You know what I'm saying? Some people cut grass good, you know? Eliminate for y'all. Me, talking about cutting some grass. Now, now I'm going to be honest with y'all now. I'm going to keep it all well, honey. Y'all ain't going to lie to y'all about nothing. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Now, y'all, I used to work, right? My uncle. You don't come give me air Saturday morning. And when I was young, that's how you used to get them tools and fuse, see? You come on up, pick me up. You gotta take me out. You cut some yard, see? Throw me a couple of the tools and fuse, you know what I'm saying? But in that time, though, He taught me how to cut grass. He taught me how to line edge the, 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 the yard up. He taught me how to go on a straight line. And you stand back out that yard, you look at that grass. Look at them line. That line, them lines ain't straight. Take it back over. It. He taught me all that. So when I got a little older, my stepdaddy, rich and soul, my stepdaddy ended up getting his him a lawn service, right? So when I started doing it with him, I was the edge up, man. You know what I'm saying? They, they, my brother them cut the yard. Boy, I would do. I was the weed eater. Boy, I hit them yard. Turn that, turn that thing to the side. Boy, I slow step with it, wonder. Boy, I, 
All the way around that yard, what? Hey, only my real weed eaters, my real grass cutters know what it means when you cock that thing to the side. Slow step with it. Boy, hey. Boy, was a cold so-and-so, wasn't it? Boy, I, I used to like when we pull off. Once we blow it and everything, we pull off. You know, I look back at that edge up. I be like, yeah, what that thing clean? What that thing clean? So don't think your boy ain't never been out here, out here, because I've been out here. I done done a little bit of everything. You know what I'm saying? A, a, edge, of life, a, a, a edge of yard up, won't I? Huh, you, thought I, you thought I couldn't when I could? Come on, man. That's what I do. I do stuff like that, y'all. Hey, y'all, for your boy. I know. All y'all see now is the mukbang guru. But I had a life before this. Y'all must understand that I know how to paint. I know how to paint. My granddad taught me how to paint. Granddad used to take me to four houses. Not paying, he ain't never give me no money. But I learned. I had a skill. See? You ain't understand it then. But when I got older, I started charging folk. Boy, I pet listen to me. I patch a hole up in a in a in a wall so fast. Let me tell y'all something. A lot of y'all didn't know. Then in order to patch a wall up. You gotta make the hole bigger. You know what I'm saying? Man, it, it, it plenty of ways to do it now. It's plenty of ways to do it now, but back then, that's how he taught me how to do it. Get that sheetrock, nail in that wall, get that tape, put on, put that mud on it, sand it down once it's dry. Get that paint gone back up on that guy like that. Ugh, look at that figure that wrist. Look at the figure that wrist. Look at the figure that wrist. Look at the figure that wrist. Come on now. I do that. Well, I did that. But like I said, now I'm the mukbang guru, so I, I don't do all that no more. But I will. I will. Now I know how to lay carbon and that. You know what? I ain't finna keep on toot my own horn. I ain't gonna toot my own horn no more. Lay a toilet in a minute, one, but I ain't gonna toot my own horn. I'm gonna get on up. I'm gonna get on up. I'm gonna get on better. I love y'all. For real, for real. Southern hands. Come holler at your boy, for real, for real. Cause I'm with all the food that tastes good, good, for real, for real. Oh yeah. I I I wanna I wanna talk to you. We need we need to have a sit down on, on, on this right here, for real, for real. If ain't nobody told y'all today, I love you, for real, for real. All my ears out there. E. Everybody else, we the gang. Y'all gang gang. We're not the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>